Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes which I have right here with the money that I took out of the bank for this. I do like to stuff my cash envelopes once a month and the reason being is because I like the convenience of just taking out the whole money that I will need in my cash envelope categories for the whole month and then I go ahead and weekly check in every single week to see how I'm doing with my spending and that is how I control and make the money that I budget for these several categories last throughout the month. I know a lot of you guys have questions about the reason why I only stuff my cash envelopes once instead of stuffing it every single week or every time I get paid. I actually do work for myself now. As you guys know, my sources of income include online income like my Etsy sticker shop and YouTube. So what I like to do is give myself a paycheck for the month and basically take all the money that I will need for my cash envelopes and the rest of it for like bills like electricity, phone bill, my credit card minimum payments I leave in my account just because it doesn't make sense to take every single bill that I have out as cash because I end up paying most of them online or they are on auto pay so for today I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes I also am going to be setting up my variable income spread with you guys which I have the stickers here if you guys are interested in any of these stickers that I show here they are from my shop I will leave a link for it down below as well as I will set up my monthly view at least just probably this page for you guys these are the cash envelopes that I'll be using for this month I actually used these last month as well and they are from an Instagram only shop called Taipei for Alexa you guys can go ahead and follow her on Instagram at Taipei for Alexa I believe she usually has order forms out for these and I don't think that she'll be having any I want to say until the end of October, if not November. I'm not sure. If you guys would like to see her shop schedule, she did recently posted one on Instagram. I think these are so, so cute, and I can't wait for her next order form to go up so I can order one, if not two more of these for the next couple of months. So the categories that I have as cash envelopes are the five first ones in my variable expenses side. So we have groceries, eating out... Gas, sorry if you guys can't see that. Allowance and beauty. I also have a cash envelope for tithe, which I also do use cash for, of course, but I don't weekly check in for that one. So you guys never really see that one after today. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to separate my money the way I had it separated last time. Although I think I only have, yeah, I only have a couple of bills here let's do 20s right here 10 and then I have a 5 here does it fit? I think that's kind of awkward but you know what? that's okay alright so let's start for groceries did budget 150 for this month so let's see so I'm going to take a 50, 70, 10. Okay, so 150, so we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150. That is going to my groceries, cash envelope. And look at how cute these look with the money in them. I just think it looks so cute. I know this might not be ideal for everybody because you might not want your money to be out like this. But I think it's super cute. And as you guys may or may not know, I do keep these in my personal planner. So it's not like they're like flashing the whole world or anything. 50, 20, 40, 10. So we have 50, 70, 90, and 100. That is for eating out. Sorry for the little sniffly here. There we go. Next we have gas. For gas we did 80, so let's take 50. So we have 50, 70, 80. Next we have allowance. For allowance we did 100, so 50. Fifty, seventy, ninety, hundred. Fifty, seventy, ninety, 
and then for beauty, we did 95, so let's do 50. Should be the rest of this. So 50, 70, 95. And then this 100 is going to go towards tithe, which is a fixed expense because once again, I don't weekly check in for this. Okay, so I have all of my cash envelopes here. And as you guys can see, they do have a bit of lamination on the side where it is a hole punched it to fit in my personal planner. So this is my personal planner. I actually have dividers from Type A for Alexa that I purchased a long time ago. These were in collaboration with Fox and Pip. Love this. I have not changed this setup like at all because I don't use it as other people use their personal planners and I just really like having my cash envelopes in here. I don't know. It just works out for me. So this is how these are going to look. Super, super cute. Tell me they're not the cutest things ever. And then I'll just go ahead and close it and put this in my purse. I have a pretty big purse, which is why this fits perfectly in there. Of course, it's not going to be ideal for everybody, but I definitely love it. And I've been loving having my cash envelopes, my personal planner for quite a while now. So I'm going to keep doing it up until I'm tired of it. So next thing that we're going to set up is going to be my variable income spread, which I like to set up on the page right next to my monthly budget. So I have a new leopard print washi here okay so we have that there and then my variable incomes aren't going to change from the usual ones that i've been having although i might end up adding one more in here i'm going to just take my header for my sources So my sources of a variable income are as follows. The first one is YouTube, of course. Then we have share sale. Which I always explain this, but if you guys don't know what share sale is, it is basically a commission site where I am registered through that to receive 10% commission back whenever you guys purchase anything from the Erin Condra website using any of my links that I provide. I always have links for you guys in the description box so if you guys ever want to support me and my channel you guys can go ahead and use those and thank you so much in advance if you ever use those links. Those are pretty much the set variable incomes that I have every single month but I am starting a patron which I don't know if I'm going to be getting like a ton of patrons or how the whole thing works really so I am starting one as I mentioned in my monthly budget video if you guys don't know what patron is patron is basically a subscription based website where it is that you guys subscribe to exclusive content from me so like I mentioned I will be having things like special coupon codes to my Etsy shop maybe PDFs of like budget budgeting things, budget tips, planning tips, and my Etsy shop behind the scenes sort of things as well as I want to have weekly lives on there. So if you guys would be interested in something like that, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have any ideas for exclusive content that you guys would like to see in my Patreon, go ahead and let me know as well. I'm not going to put it here just because I really don't think many people if at all are going to subscribe to it. Obviously if you guys were to subscribe to it I would be posting lots of content on there as well as I do plan on giving my patrons exclusive first looks of future videos that I will have on YouTube. The thing with Patreon is the exclusivity that you get with the content creator which in this case it's me. So that is sort of how I am going to include another source of income for this month hopefully. Um, as I mentioned in the past I always try to look for ways of earning income so like different side hustles and for the past couple of months I've been looking into different things. I know last month I was looking into um, Instacart I think it was called where it is that you deliver groceries but there just wasn't anything available around my area so now I'm looking into more online things that I can do like Patreon so go ahead and stay tuned for my next weekly check-in videos to see what other things I do end up adding here but for now I'm just going to skip three lines because I don't know if I might 
or might not get an um, a paycheck from Amazon. Usually when I get something from Amazon, it's really small, like, I don't know, like $17. And I don't get those often. I get those like every couple of months. So next I'm just going to use the leftover header, which is going to be for my transaction log. So any business expenses that I may have for YouTube, I will put them in here. And I do update you guys on the expenses that I've been having for the weeks and my weekly check-ins once again. So if you guys are interested and see where all of my money is going for the whole month, I do keep you guys updated in those weekly check-ins. So that is what I have for my variable income spread for now, of course. And now I am going to quickly set up a bit of my monthly view. So this is my monthly view. I feel like I always say this. I feel like you guys already know. But I am using the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. This is what I use for my budget planner. Um, I also do have a live planner by Erin Condren where it is that I do my weekly spreads. That is a completely different planner from this planner. This is just solely for my financial bills, debt tracker, monthly budgets, all of that. So that is the reason why I'm going to be using this monthly kit. This does match the print that I chose for this month. I also do have another print of fall leaves if you guys are interested, but this is what I'm going to be using. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to have to white this out. Let me see. No, I don't think I do. So that is how this is going to look. And then I'll put this side here. So I recently did come out with these monthly kits. Um, by the time that you guys are watching this, I should be out with the 8.5 by 11 and petite planners. If not, they should be coming out the day after you guys see this video. I'm trying to really um, have in my head when I'll have those out, but I wanted to first have all of my videos up for October, budget-wise, just because I feel like I'm already going to get these videos up pretty late. Um, but as of now, I do have these in my shop for the 7x9 size, which is the size that I use. Of course, Erin Condren has different size planners and then what else can I do here so this is a basic sheet of the washi this is one sheet I also do have the add-on sheet which looks like this you get a couple of bill dues some date dots more of this washi strip to cover the days that aren't in the month and then you get a couple of these check off labels as well as just regular labels I have envelope stuffing stickers just different ones that I offer in my shop so I am going to just take the payday stickers and put those every Tuesday because that is when I get paid from. Let's see. I usually put these in my weekly check-in, but I'll just go ahead and put them now. And I do get paid more than twice. So I am just going to get my payday stickers. I'm just going to go ahead and put all of them in here. Why not? Maybe I can go ahead and put the little date dots really quick. Okay, I forgot how time consuming putting date dots is, but I went ahead and put down my date dots. Um, I finished this up by putting the washi that was in the add-on sheet down here and switching it to the darker one um, for the days that were in October. And I think that's how I'm going to leave it for now. You guys will see me putting different stickers and of course my budget expense stickers as I have any spending throughout the weeks. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. I hope you guys are having an amazing amazing start to your month as well as your budget. I am so happy that most of my pages are all set up and ready to go and hopefully I will get to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!